Hello, my name is Kevin Lewis. I'm from TE Connectivity Medical Business Unit, and today I'm here to present the capabilities of our LWA tubing product. Before me, I have PBAX, a 35 durometer, and a 55 durometer PBAX in yellow and green, and our LWA product. One of the features of our LWA product is that it can easily skive off. The best way to help this process is to create a small incision on one end of this tubing prior to any processing that will be done. This LWA tubing is has an EID of 0.14 inches, a RID of 0.057 inches and a total wall thickness of 20 inches when recovered. Here I'm going to assemble the pieces for a bond joint between the two different durometers using the LWA as a processing aid. It often works best if your samples are inside, fully inside the LWA. So I use a harder durometer PBAX tube to insert that into the middle. And our sample is prepared. Now that we've prepared the sample for recovery, I am going to put it into our vertical reflow machine and recover the LWA over the PBAC samples. In this case, we have a temperature of 375 degrees Fahrenheit set for our air nozzle, and we're going to be traversing at one millimeter per second on the vertical reflow oven throughout the range that will cover the sample. One thing to know is that you may or may not need to create a slightly pre-recovered region to make sure that LWA holds onto the mandrel shaft and doesn't slip down when let go and held in the vertical position. Another item of note is to facilitate simple and quick recovery of the LWA from the sample, you want to orient the slit end on the bottom of your sample if you're recovering from the top to the bottom. Put it in and close the door. Now our key. So nearing the end of the sample creation, one of the important characteristics of LWA is that the removal of the LWA from the sample is easiest when the LWA is still hot. It is important to try and make sure that your core sample has cooled down enough that you won't deform it. But in most cases, it will be much cooler than the LWA outer jacket itself. So if I take our sample over here to this workbench, 
stand it on end so that I can grip the two pre-slit regions that I created at the beginning. I can just pull this down in the vertical direction and it automatically comes right off. What we are now left with is our sample over the Teflon coated mantle.